Hey, yo, yeah, it's the fourth game for today, Pasay Baller Sunday Edition. Uh, napakaganda ng laban na to. A lot of people have been uh, texting me, sending me messages sa Messenger, uh, even putting some comments, uh, asking kung anong tingin kong mangyayari mamaya. Uh, well, it's the fourth game. Apat ang laro natin ngayon. It's Barangay Hinebra San Miguel going up against San Miguel Beer Men. So, against Barangay Hinebra San Miguel going up against San Miguel Beer. Um, Barangay Hinebra, they're, the, they're on a roll. Uh, right now, they're uh, the number one team in the overall in the overall record with seven win, uh, seven wins and two losses. While San Miguel, uh, yeah, San Miguel is at five wins and four losses. Uh, again, sunod sunod na pagkapanalo ng Hinebra, tinalo nila ang Alaska, then tinalo din nila yung uh, talk and text, napaka, napaka uh, init ng Hinebra lately. Um, while ganun naman sa kabila, eh, kabaliktaran, uh, kabaliktaran naman sa San Miguel. Uh, San Miguel has been losing. Uh, they lost back to back. They lost against Phoenix. Uh, yun nga yung nagpakawala si RJ Hazul ng siyam na 3 point shots. Siyempre, isusingot ko yun kasi tagapasay si Hazul, di ba? Nagapasay si Hazul, so proud of you, bro. Anyway, so natalo ang San Miguel against Phoenix. Um, and then, right after that night, or kinabukasan, may laban na agad yung San Miguel. And they went up against uh, NLEX. Um, natalo ang San Miguel against uh, NLEX. And uh, wala talaga eh. Kitang-kita na um, Moto Tua, he played well, you know, first uh, three quarters, but uh, pagod na pagod na yung tao. Medyo na maawa ka na rin at some point, nakaka- he's holding his shorts, you know, pagod na pagod na siya. Ganun sila Chris Ross, Chris Ross was actually um, busting his behind off para lang makascore. Lumulopos na si Chris Ross, mga kaibigan nun. Talagang wala po kasing maasahan sa scoring nun bukod sa kanilang dalawa. Um, plus, wala rin si Marshall Lassiter nun pinahinga nila. Alright, so, um, if you take a look at the spread, I checked on the spread before uh, turning the camera on. Uh, don't, don't mind that. Um, turning the camera on. Uh, San Miguel ang mayroong plus. San Miguel ang dihado. And yeah, I, I, I would think so. San Miguel naman talaga ang dihado. You can check the record. 5-4 uh, sila. You can check the record ng Hinebra. 7-2. You can check the you, you can check the streak, di ba? Uh, Naka-winning streak yung kabila while San Miguel's na back-to-back losing. Um, but... I just have so much respect with San Miguel uh, that I feel like nakakatakot silang labanan ng galing sila sa back-to-back plus yung pagkatalo na sa NLEX that was an embarrassment sa totoo lang. nag naghalos 30 yung lamang ata o mabot talaga ng 30. Um, medyo napahiya sila noon talagang they wanted to fight but you know, talagang wala na ubus na. Naubos na sa Phoenix eh. Um, so I'm sure uh, they rested uh, they rested their bodies off yesterday and they're looking forward to this match because of course San Miguel would want to be in the top 4. They're at 5-4 so nasa 5th sila ngayon. Alaska ang nasa number 4. Kung mananalo sila, they would go and they would tie with Alaska. Tinalo nila ang Alaska so magsuswitch sila. Alaska magiging number 5, San Miguel ang magiging number 4. So ganun kahalaga ito para sa San Miguel um, and I'm sure they know that. Kung ako nga alam ko nga, sila mas malamang sila, alam nila, trabaho nila yun. So, <laughs> um, and again, uh, these are champion, uh, these are champions, di ba? We're talking about Arvin Santos, we're talking about uh, Kabagnot, uh, we're talking about Chris Ross. Uh, it's all about pride now. It's all about pride and it's all about um, the next round. Kung gusto mong pumasok ng next round, ng medyo mas okay-okay and get that twice to beat advantage. Now, I'm sure Coach Tim Cohn is aware of that naman. Uh, they have respect with San Miguel. Um, but it, I, I really think that San Miguel would, you know, would be able to uh, figure this thing out. Um, I'm sure uh, okay na si Tau Tua. Ang um, babantay kay Tau Tua would be who? Japet Aguilar and um, Caperal. Uh, with how Tau Tua is playing right now, just nakapahinga na siya. Man, I'm sure Tau Tua can easily score 20 points, can easily grab 10 rebounds later on. If they would, if they would decide to double Tau Tua, Tau Tua is willing and so much willing to pass the ball. And again, andyan na uli yung mga veterans ng San Miguel. Um, aaminin ko mas malalim ang, ang bench ng Hinebra. Pero for this game, I don't think kailang, uh, hindi na man masyado kailang gumamit ng madaming bench ng San Miguel. 
kasi nakapagpahinga na yung starting five nila. Nakapagpahinga na si Arwin, nakapagpahinga si Chris Ross, nakapagpahinga si Kabagnot. And who knows, baka paglaruin na rin nila si Marshall Laster. Ang alam ko, maglalaro si Laster ngayon. I'm not that sure. But uh, nakapagpahinga na siya ng karaan. I heard na kaya naman talaga maglaro. It's just that they opted to rest him off na lang. So, they rested him off siguro for a reason. And maybe that reason is para makalaro siya ngayon. So, um, we'll see. Uh, but again, my pick on this would be San Miguel. Uh, San Miguel winning over Ginebra. If ever they won't win, this game must be close in favor of San Miguel. So, uh, take the plus. I just checked on it. It's plus 5 San Miguel. So, para safe tayo, take San Miguel plus 5. And we should be able to save the money that we'll be pay placing on them. Uh, for those Barangay Hinebra fans, yeah, I, understand what you're, I understand how you're feeling. Bakit, bakit pinili San Miguel eh, on a roll ang Hinebra? And totoo yun, on a roll ang Hinebra. But then, please understand uh, how how dangerous of a team San Miguel is. Lalo na kailangan nila ng panalo. Lalo na napahiya sila. Enlex, sinambakan sila ng Benchinko, 30. Come on. Magbabawi ang San Miguel for sure mamaya. Plus, if Lasseter would be playing, um, that, should, that should just spread things out, you know, luluwag ang, luluwag ang dip, uh, depensa and again, Tautua already knows how to play inside uh, the best way he could. Hindi yung kagaya dati, abang-abang lang siya sa rebound. She's now the focal point, eh, para sa akin. Alright? Sana tumulong din yung bench ng San Miguel, sa si, si Lescoto, bigyan ng pahinga, mag, uh, solid na pahinga si Tautua, kahit mga 2 minutes, 2 minutes lang si Comboy, pa 2 minutes, 2 minutes lang, para makabalik, eh, okay na ulit yung kanilang starting five. Again, my take, it's going to be San Miguel plus 5. Again, San Miguel plus 5 for today's main event. So, uh, see you guys tomorrow. But before I do that, meron pa lang. Sipon ko, tumutulo na. Meron pa lang nagpapa shout out. Um, wait lang. May nagpapa shout out. Ang pangalan, eh... Sorry po ah, sandali lang, medyo may na tayo sa mga pangalan kasi. Um, here you go. Rosemary Lazola of Dipolo. So, Rosemary Lazola, um, I'm happy whenever I see um, a lady or a woman or a girl supporting our channel, you know, watching basketball. I'm just, I'm just so into that. Uh, kasi normally, lalo dito sa Philippines, basketball pang lalaki lang. That's so wrong. Uh, if you would go, if you would go in the states, if you would go all over the world, um, yung mga babae, na meron at meron silang sports na kinaadika na, yeah, that's why I'm so happy whenever I see someone na sumo support sa PBA, sumo support kita sa channel natin. Again, Rosemary Lazola of the Polog, shout out to you. Happy Sunday, blessed Sunday. Enjoy your day with your family and uh, enjoy watching PBA later on. Sana keep on supporting our our channel and uh, um, ask your friends to subscribe na rin and to. Uh, like the Facebook page that we have. Uh, send me a message if you have a question or if you have some clarifications to some mga pics natin. Alright, so see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Pasay love and love.